What's up? What's up, everybody? Happy, thankful Thursday! It's your girl, D. You already know what it is. I am excited about today because it is not just a thankful Thursday. It is a super September. We get another month to get this thing right. If you're watching this video right now, you're listening or whichever way you're consuming it, just take a moment and say, you know, I moved through August, I made it through August, and I did it, right? And I like to reflect because I really do think we move through life so fast that we just don't sit down and reflect on all of the things that we have accomplished that we've gone through, right? And um, today's topic I thought would be so valuable because I'm going through this myself is how to get back working out okay a lot of us are have kids or are educators or are affected by the back to school back to school season so it's like how do i get back working out when i go back to, when i'm getting back from school right or when i'm going back into this the school system and i have a lot of clients who are like d i just cannot find my motivation anywhere right like you can't find it and you're like how did this change so quickly like it was one month ago i was fine even two months ago i was doing great and then now it's like oh my gosh i just want to go home and lay down so acknowledging all the parents acknowledging all the educators the caretakers all the people who are affected by this i want to acknowledge you because seasons write this down seasons change baby it's not gonna be summer all year it's not gonna be winter all year it's not gonna be spring all year it's gonna go into seasons and i have something to tell you that's how your feelings are going to be in regards to your wellness and fitness and health journey right there are going to be some times and i need you to take this to heart there are going to be some times you really really feel like doing it and you go do it there are going to be some times when you really really feel like doing it and you're not going to go do it and then there are going to be times when you really absolutely don't feel like doing it and you get on the treadmill anyway or you go outside anyway. Then there will be different times that you don't do it and you don't, you don't feel like doing it. All right. The best thing that you can do is to plan for the times that you don't want to do something or you're trying to find motivation. Motivation is a feeling just like being happy, just like being sad. Um, some of us deal with anxiety. And the best way I can compare motivation is like an anxiety attack. It's like you don't know when it's going to come. You don't know how long it's going to stay. All you can do is prepare what your response is going to be, right? I'm not a therapist or anything like that, but I've dealt with anxiety, dealt with depression. And I can say that and motivation kind of go hand in hand for me. So the way that uh, there's two things that are, that are like staples for me to move through those emotions. Number one, I give myself grace to grow. And I can't say that enough. Give yourself grace to grow through the season, okay? The seasons of life when you're happy, the seasons of life when you're sad, the seasons of life when you lose a loved one, the seasons of life when you didn't get the job, the seasons of life when you did get the job, the seasons of life when you got a lot of money in the bank, when you don't have a lot of money in the bank, like, you have to give yourself grace to grow through it and not compare one season to the one you're in now, okay? And that works both ways. You don't want to say, like, this is how I felt last time. Why well, I don't feel this way now? Last school for a season, I got it together. And then you end up so hard on yourself that you, you are, like, paralyzed by how you feel. Right. So number one, give yourself grace. And then number two, commit today to create a routine for yourself. Routines help you move through the things in life when you don't feel like doing it. Routines really help you to accomplish something without having a feeling attached to it. That's just like brushing your teeth. That's like getting dressed. You don't have to say, I feel like brushing my teeth today. And then you brush your teeth. You don't have to say, I feel like putting my clothes on and or I don't feel like putting my clothes on. You just put them on. Like nobody has to say right leg first, left leg first. It's because it's been an automatic routine for you, right? And, or, or even chewing your food. You just put the food in your mouth, chew it, go. And because you've created a routine for so long, your entire life, that there's no really no feeling attached to it on a day-to-day -day basis, on a very basic level. So those are the two things. Give yourself grace. 
Number two, create a routine, okay? Now, I call this month a simple September. Simple can get you snatched. I know we use that word a lot, but I'm going to use it for September because it starts with an S. And I like to do that. Simple is snatch September. Keeping things simple help you to be successful. Simplicity helps you to master the basics. And as long as you are a lifelong learner, you're going to be mastering the basics. Okay. And the great thing about health and fitness is that even when you think you have mastered the basics, there's still another layer that can really become a routine for you. So uh, we're going to keep it simple in September. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. You can take it on with me, take it on on your own. You can tell your friends about it, but let's keep September simple. Okay, educators. Okay, friends. Okay. So number one, remember why you're doing this. Why am I exercising anyway? I'm exercising because I'm grateful that I can move. Okay. On a very, very basic level, in a humanistic level, I need you to remember the time when you couldn't move. You couldn't move. Maybe it was being sick, or maybe you had an injury, or a car accident, or something like that. You may, maybe when you were pregnant. I don't know. Remember when you could not move. Remember that day, and you say, "You know what? I'm gonna go walk because I remember the day I could not move." Okay, and I'm not. You see, I didn't say anything about weight loss. I didn't see, say anything deep about and so that I can have stronger muscles. No, it's because I'm grateful I can move. There are people who cannot. There are people who would pay to be able to sit up in the chair. And, and there's probably some of y'all listening. Some of y'all would have paid when you couldn't get up out the bed, when you couldn't get up out the chair. You would have paid money to move, right? So the reason why we're moving, and I don't care if it's dancing, I don't care if it's Going to boot camp, like I said, walking, skateboarding, uh, uh, gardening, playing with the kids. I don't care what it is. Just remember your why. Number two, remember, like I said, that routine helps overcome your feelings. Okay? Routine don't have no feelings. Just do it. Just You do it anyway. And when I was in like a super depressed state, you guys, I went through a very, very depressed state. Very easily, I could tell you when I was in um, San Antonio, I call it, my pastor calls it a situational depression, right? Because of my situation, I felt extremely depressed. And I did not want to do a thing. I just wanted to lay in the bed and do my business from my phone. And there's some days I didn't want to do that. And I was like, I just want to lay down. And then ironically when you lay down like that thing your mind starts to go crazy you start thinking about other things and so i became more depressed and i became so depressed that i was like i you know i don't know what you know what's gonna go on and i, that's how I feel about life etc cetera, etc cetera. and i had to say even if i have to get on this treadmill or if i have to walk make this walk and i walk really slow and i'm crying or I'm cussing and going on and carry on, I'm still going to create this routine for myself because I remember being depressed or anxious in the past and I ate my way through that journey only to come out of it feeling really, really bad about the way that I looked. So now I'm like out of this situation of depression and now I'm upset and even more depressed on how I felt. Okay, because it's not all the way always about looks. First, you decide to change because of the way you feel. You're like, I just don't feel well, right? And then I think that the body part comes in and you're like, oh, I do not look how I want to look and I don't fit, fit good in my clothes or whatever. So um, create that routine. If you're starting to walk and you're like, I don't, I don't feel like walking. Okay, five minutes, five minutes. Go outside, walk to your car, walk back home. You want to be able to create a moment in your head that your mindset is, is when he or she says they're going to do something, he or she's going to do it. And the, the, the interesting part about wellness and fitness is that a lot of times we want it to be a certain way for a certain amount of time and a certain caliber to be able to say we were successful. When I say this month, I'm going to walk two to five miles. Some days it's going to be two. Some days it's going to be five. Some days it's going to be seven. Some days it's going to be 10. If something happens and I do not feel like walking two, I'm going to walk somewhere. 
So there were people say, did you walk this month? I can say I did walk this month. Okay. So create the routine. Number three, keep it simple. To all of my newbies, to all the people who are just starting off on their journey or you're restarting your journey, hey, I love social media. I love influencers because I'm one. At the end of the day, keep it simple. Walk, drink water, eat more fruits and vegetables, get some sleep, manage your stress. Okay? Start there. Don't worry about what's the best way to grow my glutes. What's the best way to, to get my arms shredded? The first things first is to get moving, drink some water, eat more fruits and vegetables, get some rest. Right? Manage your stress. Keep it simple. You don't have to buy a meal. You don't have to buy no meal plans. You don't have to buy. If you're starting at the very basic, you don't have to buy no workouts. Go outside, walk, drink some water, and eat some fruits and vegetables. Get some rest. Those are the basics, you guys. You don't have to count your macros. I love to count macros, but that's kind of like advanced, right? Keep it simple. Number four, this is going to be something I want you to keep in your back pocket that you tell yourself is you want to often tell yourself you're doing great. You're doing great. You say to yourself, I'm doing great. You can put that in the comments. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I'm doing great because if no one ever tells you that you're doing great, and you hear from me right now, you're doing great, you need to be the one that tells yourself that. You got to be the voice. You're the voice that believes yourself before anybody else. You believe yourself. So you got to always tell yourself you're doing great. Even on, the, even on the days where you feel unmotivated, you're like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You do. You do. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. You're doing great. If you do one mile, you're doing great. If you do a quarter of a mile, you're doing great. If you do three miles, you're doing great. You know what makes you what makes you able to say you're doing great is when you when you do what you say you're gonna do. I'm gonna go walk. I'm gonna drink some water this month. I'm gonna drink more water this month. I'm gonna drink uh, 80 ounces of water this month. I'm going to I'm going to get six hours of sleep this month. That's my. I'm going to check in with my coach this month. Right? I'm going to be accountable this month. That's what makes you say you're doing great. Right? I love walking out with you, Maya. Walking is fantastic. A lot of people look down on walking because you think it's too easy. Ease is what creates beautiful routines. It creates a beautiful foundation for your routines. And lastly, this is it. This is it. You want to keep going with your blinders on. Keep your blinders on when you've created a simple routine for this September, right? It's a simple routine for September. When you keep your blinders on, don't look to the right, don't look to the left. Because you're going to look to the right and say, oh, they're doing push-ups and their results look really good. Maybe I'm going to start doing push-ups. No. Walk. Drink water. I see them putting fruit in their water. I think I'm going to just do it. Drink the water. Drink it. Uh-huh. I see that they got a special aloe vera and lavender pillow to get sleep. I'm going to do that. Go Close your eyeballs. Close your eyeballs and get off the social media. Stop talking to whack people and go to sleep. Right? You have to keep going with your blinders on, you guys. It don't stop. The basics don't stop. Mastering the basics don't stop. So this September... Write this down. I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm doing personally. I'm going to take it on. So I hope you're connecting me on social media, on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. I'm going to record it every single day. I'm committed to walking three to five miles a day. And the reason I picked three to five is because I've already been doing one to three. Okay? So if you're first starting off, I want to say start with a half a mile. Start with one mile or you can hurt yourself. So please start off simple. You can do this with me. P do this with me. And I'm using social media, you guys. I'm not using social media as an inspiration this month. I I inspiration for myself. I'm using social media this month to record my accountability. I want to be accountable this month. I want to be accountable this month. So number one, I'm walking three to five miles a day. Okay? 
every single day, every day, every day. Number two, I've committed to a gallon of water a day, gallon of fluid, okay? So I'll tell you what, for me, what that looks like is I drink two shakes and this is about 24 ounces each, okay? So that's 48. And then I'm gonna drink two of these, that's 64, okay? And that puts me at about a gallon and I got my tea, okay? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a gallon a day. You can choose 64 ounces. I don't care if you choose eight ounces a day. Choose your water ounces that makes sense to you. And don't be overzealous like, I'm gonna do two gallons because one gallon is good enough. I'm gonna do two. Y'all, keep it simple. Huh? Yes, when the, when the memories show up, I want next year my memories to say, you was doing a deal, right? So number one, I'm gonna walk three to five miles a day. Number two, I'm going to drink a gallon of water, okay? Number three, I'm gonna stay on my nutrition program. I choose to do Herbalife because that's what I do, but that's what whatever you wanna do. You can say, I'm gonna choose to do pescatarian. Or I'm going to choose that I'm not going to do any fried food this month. I'm just going to eat whatever else. I'm just not going to do fried food. Whatever that is for you. You might say, I'm vegan and I want to do vegan. I, you, don't, you don't have to change anything. I've been doing this, this nutrition program for four and a half years. I'm not going to change it to anything harder than that. Okay? I'm not going to say, I'm going to cut out bread. I'm going to cut out rice. I'm going to cut out... Um, dessert. I'm, I'm not going to say that. I'm staying on my nutrition program. Okay? Those are my three things. That's all I'm doing this month, y'all. And if life lends me somewhere else, let's just say I'm invited to a yoga class, or I'm invited to a boot camp class, or I do something with friends, I'm going to go do that. But my basics are Walking three to five miles, drinking my gallon, staying on my nutrition program, period. Simple and snatch September, period. Because guess what? Most people are not doing this. Most people are not walking three to five miles a day. I don't care how easy you think it is. You might say, I'm going to do one mile a day. Most people are not walking one mile a day. Most people are not drinking water every day. Most people are not sticking to their nutrition program, period. Most people are not eating fruits and vegetables, you guys. They not, right? So we're having a simple and snatch September. We are not complicating these things. We are taking I can't out of our vocabulary this month. We are not second guessing ourselves. We don't have time. Y'all, we're going into the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter is setting us up for first quarter. You do not have time to second guess yourself, huh? God has too many things in store for you. His plan is too grandiose and big for you, for you to be tied up trying to make staying healthy complicated. It does not need to be complicated. You have to be in the right mindset, right? to minister to people in the right mindset, to love on people, to be patient with people, to have joy with people. You do not have time to spend that energy trying to keep your health routine complicated. And you don't have time to, to second guess yourself. You gotta be healthy enough to do that, right? So I want to share those things with you because I'm doing it with you. And y'all know, normally I, I am go hard in the yard, in the gym. I'm not going to the gym, you guys. I am committed to walking with you guys. I'm committed to walking. My goal is to get in the 190s this, this month um, because I'm going to keep it simple. And I'm, gonna, I'm excited to share with you my progress with keeping it simple so that you can keep it simple and you can be encouraged by it. So if you are down to do this with me, put a one in the chat, right, in the comments. Or whenever you're listening to this, put it wherever. Put a one if you're down to doing it with me. Um, the My 21-day challenge starts on the 12th. And I'm going to tell all of my challengers and all of my results coaches, my friends who are results coaches, that's what I'm telling everybody to do this month. That's going to be a workout. We're not doing no complicated stuff. We not we, I like even my for my people who've been lifting weights and stuff. You can still lift weights, but we keeping it simple because I know your mind is crazy. 
we're going into and i'm a, and i'm going to tell you this because i've been doing fitness for 17 years this year will be 17 years this time of the year especially going in october gets weird it gets weird it gets like an overarching negative type of thing and you, and people quit people gain all of their weight that they lost they gained it between october and december from all year they lost all that weight october to december they put it back on and then you have you have a new year's resolution as if you didn't do any work right so what we're going to do together if you're open to it is that we are going to keep it simple all year for the rest of the year we're going to work on our mindset for the rest of the year we're reading books we're, we're we're really protecting our mind we're putting ourselves around people who are making moves putting ourselves around people who can pour into us and then putting ourselves around people we can pour into okay we're keeping it simple we're working on our mindset and we're gonna grow through the end of the year in a simple way we're not making this complicated we're not gonna make this complicated you guys so i'm pumped up about this challenge because it's gonna be so simple that a lot of people are not gonna do it it's gonna be so simple that people are gonna try to make make it even harder Right. And my clients know this. When I see you doing stuff outside of the plan, I'm going to call you out. I didn't say do 15 miles. I said do two to five. I didn't say do two gallons of water. I said, what was the number you picked? 64, 128. What is it? Stick to that because we get to master the basics so that we can have the, the energy and the mindset to, to really accomplish the big, big things we have in life in 2023. So I love you guys. Have a blessed and thankful Thursday. And as Jim Rohn says, like, how do you count your blessings? You count them one by one. So today, I want you to start counting your blessings one by one. Who are you grateful for? What are you grateful for? Situations that you're grateful for so that we bring more of those things to us. So. Happy Thankful Thursday. I love you guys. I am pumped up for this challenge and I'm excited to see your success. See you later. Happy Thankful Thursday.